Hello, everyone. I'm Reverend Nick Bullitt, the Engagement Catalyst here at One Spirit. I am sitting here today with Reverend Dr. Deb Berman. Thank you so much for meeting with us. You are a graduate of One Spirit Seminary Program, as well as the founder of Pride Ministries. So we are excited to speak with you about an upcoming conference that you have. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you. It's really a, a joy and a pleasure uh, to, to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Sure. So you have your own private practice. Can you share a little bit about what that looks like for you? So my psychotherapy practice, it's a group practice. So I oversee it. I do see clients. I'm also the clinical director and founder. And it is an affirming psychotherapy practice. So if someone is identifying as alt um, in some way, queer, kink, poly, BDSM, consensually non-monogamous, um, genderqueer, LGBTQAI, they'll be able to come and um, have a knowledgeable, knowledgeable and affirming, not just welcoming and not just um, um, supportive, but someone who gets it. Um, and we'll be able to come and have psychotherapy and there's a non-pathologizing uh, approach. In my work uh, in Pride Ministry, what I'm trying to do is bring together um, people who are in alternative relationships and alternative lifestyles who have experienced um, injury um, in, in terms of faith and who are also seeking a safe place where they can worship and have their spiritual and life cycle events um, really affirmed. That really was the impetus for uh, creating Pride Ministry and in turn for having these conferences coming up. Okay, so in the work that you do, do you do full cycle life celebrations? Sure. So one of my areas of, uh, of, of, of expertise in uh, my work through ministry is life cycle events for alternative identifying people. So there are gender transition ceremonies. There are collaring ceremonies for people who are in uh, the kink community. Mm -hmm. um, there are conscious uncoupling ceremonies. One of my favorite uh, life cycle events is a polycule union ceremony. And these are people who have been in uh, chosen families and relationships with each other for decades, but there's never been a ceremony. So be able to sit with uh, you know, six people, seven people, 12 people who are in this uh, family unit to then really have a ceremony to celebrate and, um, and affirm their union that they already have um, is, is incredibly important for me and, and very gratifying. Yeah, that sounds like it's very empowering and it's, it's also um, creating a space where people might not have felt that that space existed. Exactly. And so one of the other parts of, of Pride Ministry is I'm really, really thrilled that I get contacted by spiritual leaders from faith communities wanting information. Yes. And so that's incredibly heartening for me. Mm -hmm. So yay. Yay. That's great. Yeah. You have a conference coming up. Can you share about what this conference is? Yes, it's a conference. It's going to be in New York City um, in March. Mm -hmm. And it is called the Alternative Spirit Conference. And uh, the Alternative Spirit Conference is for people who identify uh, as kink, poly, queer, genderqueer, consensually non-monogamous, uh, LGBTQAI, uh, alternative lifestyles, and allies, and people who are thinking about becoming allies but maybe don't know how. So the purpose of this is sort of, it's twofold. It's one of them, it's for alternative identifying people to um, develop spiritual practice, learn more about interfaith and inner spiritual wisdom paths that do affirm them and to develop a sense of spiritual community with each other. And for people who are attending, who are clergy, faith community leaders, spiritual counselors, uh, psychotherapists uh, and, and organizers, this is really gonna provide the groundwork for which to move away from the problematic welcoming leadership model, which is a sentiment, not a verb, and move toward the sort of more um, humanistic and contemporary model of authentic affirmation of people who identify as alt or alternative. And that takes a little bit more work because it's not a question of sentiment, it's a question of doing the work needed to um, really meet uh, those spiritual seekers uh, where they're at and um, to not fall into inclusionism, but instead um, to have uh, people who are alt identified as integral parts of uh, leadership. And so this conference is um, incorporating workshops, um, discussions, lectures, interactive um, um, meditation practices, um, and uh, worship services that are interspiritual that are all really for affirming uh, the alternative spirit. And by alternative spirit, I mean people who are in the alternative uh, demographic groups. And then also to help, um, to help 
community leaders uh, of, of all sorts um, to understand that all people aren't out there somewhere. They're already within their communities. They're just right. have to be closeted for safety. So it's going to be really exciting. And we have amazing and very, very highly accomplished uh, presenters. Is there something in the workshop that speaks to parents with children or anything that has to do with, with children? Well, there's a great session in the actual, in the actual conference um, by Reverend Yolanda, who is a graduate of One Spirit. And Reverend Yolanda is doing a presentation called Gender Transcendence, which is about um, gender as a spiritual path. Mm. And, and so that's going to be extremely important for parents. Um, who have children who are questioning their gender or who have said, um, this is my gender, which is different than what was assumed at, you know, the sex listed on the birth certificate. Right. And so that's going to be really, really helpful for um, parents to approach their children and to support their children on a very fundamental spiritual level. Because this is really for everybody. It can be parents. It can be people who are kinky people who are poly, people who are consensually non-monogamous, who are family members, and they want to understand them better. Um, but largely, this is for all people to have a safe space to talk about those spiritual matters that, um, that otherwise they really don't get to, um, to talk about. What do you ultimately hope to accomplish by creating this conference? By creating this conference, I'm creating a safe space for people who are alt to express their spiritual leanings without judgment, without fear, without misinformation, without misunderstanding. And to be able to come together and really discuss those important, pressing, primordial spiritual matters that everyone contends with and, and explores. And this is a place where all spiritual seekers will be able to do so um, freely. Beautiful. And there aren't many places to do that freely. Great. Well, I want to thank you so much, Reverend Deb, for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. And I, I hope to see everyone at the Alternative Spirit Conference. And